Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com on Roku Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. It is the morning after the absolute destruction of Matthew Macklin by Gennady Golovkin. The online community is buzzing. I would encourage people to go on Twitter right now and just look up Golovkin's name or Macklin's name and see the comments, especially the comments during the fight. Right? This is beyond impressive. Gennady Golovkin against the puncher cuts off the ring on him, takes the oxygen out of Macklin's lungs, proceeds to hit him with a bevy of punches and does so not in a hurry, right? He's not frantic, he's structured, he's methodical, he's calm. That's what makes it so scary. Right, understand, Macklin has a punch. Look at his record. Macklin has roughed up many people. Here you have Golovkin, right, able to defend himself against Macklin's punches, then able to walk down Macklin. Macklin starts the fight on his front foot. His strategy didn't seem to be to back up the whole fight. He starts on his front foot in the first round. But about, let's say, 60 seconds into the fight, suddenly he's on his back foot. He never gets back on his front foot. Right? Never. The rest of the fight is him backing up, Golovkin chasing him, Golovkin throwing a lot of hooks, Golovkin landing very hard shots with both hands. Right? Golovkin really you know putting on an exhibition of head and body shots with both hands the ambidexterity was impressive but let's slow the roll a bit right now there's talk about Golovkin against Sergio Martinez right the idea is simply that Golovkin who's unbeaten who had a spectacular amateur record that Golovkin's in his prime, and that Sergio Martinez, who had surgery for a knee problem, was on the canvas in the 12th round against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., right, and who lost several rounds against Martin Murray, fighting in his own backyard in Argentina in his last fight. The theory is that Martinez might be on the decline that Martinez is older and Martinez might be too old, right? That Golovkin's going to hunt him down just like he hunted down Matthew Macklin, right? And of course, what really made the Macklin KO impressive is it's off a body shot, right? And it wasn't the first body punch that Golovkin landed in the fight. This wasn't a one punch affair. This was a methodical beatdown that lasted less than three rounds and ended with Macklin badly hurt on the floor unable to continue after getting hit in the liver area. Right? Think Oscar De La Hoya on the canvas after getting hit by Bernard Hopkins. Right? Well, here's the argument that I want to make to you. I don't know who wins or loses the Golovkin-Martinez fight were it to happen. I don't. I see scenarios where either guy can win that fight. Sergio Martinez, as far as I'm concerned, is still the gold standard at middleweight until someone beats him. Right? He would have a chance against Golovkin. Yes, he would. Today. What I would encourage people to do is consider the following. First, Matthew Macklin is in front of Gennady Golovkin. Right? He's there. The advice he's gotten from his corner, and let me just say 
I thought it was curious advice, was to throw multiple jabs at Golovkin. Right? So, Matthew Macklin's literally in the frame, just like I am right here in this video. He's not off at the side. Right? He's not over here. He's here for a puncher. And he's lingering because he's throwing multiple jabs while he's here. Right? And Golovkin, of course, bends a bit at the waist, so Golovkin was able to kind of parry the jabs. Right? But understand, Macklin is in front of Golovkin. He's not at the side. Sergio Martinez would not be in front of Golovkin. He wouldn't. Point two. Sergio Martinez has a unique gift. He can hide his upper body. When you watch a Martinez fight, understand he is bent at the waist. He's not only off at the side, he's bent out completely out of the picture. Right? Very hard to hit. Sergio Martinez up top. Very hard. Right? His bending at the waist. And his bob. He has a bob. Throws off opponents. Because they're accustomed to throwing punches up top and hitting you here. Then, of course, Martinez is down here and they're like, okay, well, well, how do I alter my punches to hurt this guy? What am I trying to hit as he's bent at the waist? Then, of course, timing-wise, if you're not a pace setter and you're trying to get your timing and figure out when to hit Martinez, his head bob, which at times is relentless, can literally throw you off your own rhythm. Right? That's a very different dynamic than the dynamic set by Macklin yesterday. Right? Macklin is there to get hit and Macklin doesn't have a bob going. The rhythm of the fight is Golovkin's rhythm. It's not Macklin's rhythm. Right? Let me say this too. Macklin used to be a mid-range hooker. He's hooked up now with Buddy McGirt and he's retooled his game. He's not mid-range hooking in this fight. He's actually slick. He's worked on his boxing skills. He's trying to operate behind a double and triple jab. Right? That's what he's trying to do. Right? And so he's there and as Golovkin comes forward and Macklin gets on his back foot, Macklin's trying to play his back foot. But it's not natural for him. Fans of Matthew Macklin who remember his fight against Felix Sturm know Macklin really at the core historically has been a front foot heavy mid-range hooker. Right? Matthew Macklin isn't accustomed to being stalked. He's usually the stalker. He was the guy who came in and destroyed you. He was the guy hunting you down. Now Sergio Martinez is different. Martinez is really like Ali in that he wants you to hunt him. He wants to be the hunted. Right? Look at the Martin Murray fight. Sergio Martinez is egging on Murray to come forward. Just like Ali in the 70s egged on Jimmy Young. Right? Because these guys are defensive. These guys are reactive. They're counter punchers. They don't want to be the lead puncher. They want to be the counter puncher. They want you to come in and hunt them so they can deconstruct you. Right? The theory is as you hunt them, excuse me, as 
Right, you hunt them, your defense is going to fall apart. There are going to be openings for them to capitalize on. Understand, Sergio Martinez has done well against high volume lead punchers. Paul Williams, right? The reason that fight works is Paul Williams was a guy who had to throw punches, right? So Paul Williams is hunting and Sergio Martinez is able to set things up in the second fight. Martinez literally walks Williams into his left hand, right? Walks him into the knockout punch. That's what Martinez does. The back foot isn't new to him. He hasn't just changed out of a mid-range hooking style to a back foot come get me style. No, that's who Martinez is. That's a big part of his game. He wants opponents to come forward so much that at times in his fights, he's yelling at opponents to come forward. Right? So in my opinion, and it's odd, but in my opinion, Janady Golovkin being front foot heavy and aggressive, very aggressive, would be exactly what Sergio Martinez wants. When he was younger, Martinez lost to a very front foot heavy Antonio Margarito. I believe that fight changed Martinez, just like the first Castillo fight changed Floyd Mayweather. Martinez now is ready for that style. He wants guys who are going to try to pursue him, right? Whether it's Paul Williams, whether it's Kelly Pavlik, Martinez is ready for it, right? So my point is simply, Martinez wouldn't be discombobulated like Matthew Macklin was yesterday. Right? Martinez doesn't have a problem being along the ropes with you hunting him down. Right? Let's talk further about it. There's a fight on YouTube that you need to watch. I want to hear your views after you watch it. I've put the first third of the fight in my favorites folder here online. All you have to do is go to my YouTube channel page and click the link. Right, just look for the favorites or favorites one folder there, right? It's Janady Golovkin against Southpaw Kasim Uma. Now understand, Sergio Martinez is a Southpaw, right? Matthew Macklin's a right handed fighter, Martinez is a left handed fighter. We're talking about different angles, different games. Here's what you need to know. For the first five rounds against Kasim Uma, Janady Golovkin looked limited defensively. Uma had a lot of success those first five rounds. A lot of success. It looked to me like Golovkin couldn't figure out the angles. Right now, people here online know I'm a huge Golovkin fan. He might well be the future of the middleweight division. All I'm saying here is not so fast, right? Uma goes 10 rounds, or rather makes it into the 10th round against Golovkin before being stopped. Golovkin does dominate the last third of the fight. The point though is that Kasim Uma doesn't remotely have the punching power of Sergio Martinez and Uma lands several flush shots in the first half of the fight. Now let's talk about Sergio Martinez. Who is he from a punching standpoint? Let me tell you, he's an excellent puncher. Golovkin wouldn't be the only excellent puncher in the fight. Martinez knocked out Paul Williams and I mean knocked him out. Williams isn't awake on the canvas. It's not even like Matthew Macklin was yesterday. At least Macklin, when he's on the canvas, knows where he is. 
Williams was unconscious. Well, forget that fight. What about Sergio Martinez's knock out of Darren Barker, who was unbeaten at the time? What about his destruction of Sergei Zinzurich? Quite frankly, if you go back in Martinez's past, you're going to find that Martinez is actually a knockout puncher with boxing skills, right? Alex Bernama, that fight. I believe Martinez was devastating with the punching power in that fight. You remember uh, Kermit Cintron. I know that fight technically went the distance, but understand, Martinez knocks down Cintron in the fight, right? The referee blows the call. Let's not blow it here. Look at the video. In other words, Martinez, if Martinez hits Golovkin, like Kasim Uma hit Golovkin in the first five rounds of their fight, I'll tell you what, Golovkin would be lucky to survive those first five rounds. Here's my initial impression. I wouldn't take either guy to win. Obviously, someone's going to win. But I wouldn't take either guy to win. I would bet distance in the fight. Right? This is one of those high-risk bets where, quite frankly, if the over-under is 10 rounds or less, let's say 9.5 rounds, I take the under in the fight. Right? If the odds allow it, I would take both guys by knockout. Now, these bets have backfired in the past, but what I'd really be betting on is pacing more than the winner. In other words, I would expect heavy punches to be landed by heavy punchers in the fight. I have no doubt that Golovkin would be forcing the action. I have no doubt that Sergio Martinez would be responding in kind. I think that would be a great fight. I'm not someone who believes that Sergio needs a lot of time away from the ring. That'll be up to Sergio Martinez and his team. But what I'm not prepared to do is to say that I think Golovkin beats Martinez not so fast. Instead, what I believe is that somebody in that fight would get knocked out. And I believe you would get tremendous odds. Because, of course, Martinez went the distance in his last fight, right? Also, let's think it through. The over-under is likely to be high because Martinez hasn't been knocked out for quite some time. And Janady Golovkin has never been knocked out. Let me also say this, too. At the beginning of this fight, and I thought Max Kellerman did a great job with Andre Ward. At the beginning of this fight, Max Kellerman makes a great point. He says, you know, we know. Janady Golovkin can dole out the punches. What we don't know is whether he can take the punches from a legitimate middleweight. That question remains unanswered. Right? Sergio Martinez, a southpaw unlike Macklin, harder to find unlike Macklin, who wants you chasing him, unlike Macklin, would be a full plate, in my opinion, for Golovkin. Anything can happen in that fight, in my opinion, except that fight going the distance. Let's see what happens. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.